This Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, five decades later, a Minnesota war veteran finally meets the man who saved his life years ago in Vietnam. Boyd Hoopert reports, it all came to be because the man who was looking out for him then never stopped looking. At a workplace with a reputation for giving fresh starts. Some carbon fiber. Fred Jorlene is known for his longevity. When I started out, everything was wood. All the legs were wood. That's it. But I guess when you're in any field for 50 years, things change, right? Fred <laughs> makes prosthetic legs. Pigment, yeah, Caucasian. For great steps in Sartell, work that changes lives. Yeah, I think about it all the time. By a guy who knows. Maybe we should do it this way. First, hey. We walked right into a big ambush. That's where I was moving. Yeah. Okay. 1968 the deadliest year for America's troops in Vietnam, which included a 19-year-old Minnesota volunteer. When I was kneeling on my leg I have, and this one was up and I was shooting around a tree, and the round hit on the other side of the tree. Fred doesn't remember much after that. Quick amputation. But 500 miles away in western Illinois, yes. Dale Edge couldn't forget. I wanted to know if he made it out alive. Dale was a 20-year-old Vietnam draftee who barely knew Fred. My stomach was all ruptured, I, you know, my leg was gone. I was in pretty rough shape. Fred, fading and unaware, he had a battlefield angel. Dale was right behind me when the round went off, and he, he had got hit too. He had several pieces of shrapnel on him, and he took my pants and made a tourniquet out of it to stop the blood. Then, Dale loaded Fred on a helicopter an image burned in Dale's mind That's right. for the next 53 years. I didn't know if he lived. If you want to know the truth, I don't know how many times I prayed for that man, and I didn't know him. Yeah, he never stopped looking. Fred was at work when the phone rang in the office. He found me. Searching online, Dale discovered Fred's name and photo on the Great Steps website. You're nine miles away from me. And after more than half a century. I slow down, Fred. A phone conversation. Whoa! Wasn't going to suffice. How are you? I'm doing fine, Fred. Me too. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Good. Fred, alive for this moment <laughs> because of Dale. It means a lot in here. Look at all of them. He's a comrade. Oh, look at that. I got a lot of pictures with that on. You know that? Yeah. Put a scarf around my neck. Our scarf. I didn't have one. He gave me his. The scarf and their battalion insignia, like the one cut off Fred at the field hospital. Yep. He'd been missing yep. ever since. It's been a crazy life, ain't it? Yeah. But it's a good life. It's a good one. Good it's life. a good one. That's right. It all happened a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, and we made it. That guy there. Yes, sir. Yeah. I should have been dead. Yeah. What's missing? There's that, Dale. There it is. Fred's replaced. What was his name? What's found? He's the one to give you your morphine shot. Can never again be taken away. I don't know, but I sure felt good. <laughs> Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Ashland, Illinois. <laughs> Though they live 500 miles apart, this won't be their last meeting. Dale is already making plans to visit Fred again in Minnesota.